Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews and today we're going to be giving you guys our first impressions of the new Static X album titled Project Regeneration Volume 1. So after many delays, Project Regeneration has now finally been released. I have been hyped since they announced it. Since they announced it and teased a few of the tracks, I was completely on board and I'm finally, I'm so happy for it to finally come out. Yeah, I'll say I'm excited, but I'm not really like blown away hyped for this because I feel like my, my passion for this band has died down quite a bit and I don't know if their sound has grown with me because a few of the singles they've, re the singles they've released, I like them, they're cool, but it's nothing I'm like, oh, add to my playlist, add to my playlist. So maybe listening to the album that will change. A lot of times when you listen to a whole album, you get a, a better scope of the sound and you get a better feel of it. So hopefully I dig it as much as I dug Wisconsin Death Trip, you know, 20 years ago. Um, but yeah. All right, with that being said, we're gonna listen to Project Regeneration Volume 1 for the very first time in its entirety. And we'll be right back to give you guys our first impressions. So stay put. All right, guys, we just listened to Project Regeneration Volume 1 for the very first time in its entirety vile. What are your thoughts? I didn't enjoy this album that much. I kept feeling like my 13-year-old self would love this. But right now, this day of age, I don't feel like my, my love or passion, whatever, for this music that I had back then has grown with me. Um, I rated a lot of these songs pretty low, maybe unfairly, but I did rate a couple songs, not high, but a little more favorably. So I'll talk about those. Terminator Oscillator was a song that had really nice energy. Um, simple, but it pops. Okay, so I like that one. All These Years, which was a video we reacted to, was another highlight for me. Um, cool bass lines, some standout vocal parts. Overall, enjoyable song. And the last song in the album, Dead Souls, was the most unique song in the album. It's one of the only songs, maybe the only song, that doesn't have an electronic infused sound to it. Now, Static X is kind of semi known for this, you know, basically making rave music for metalheads. Um, but this song stood up because it didn't have any of that. At least to the same degree as the other track. At least, exactly. It might have had a little bit here and there, you know. But this song had a lot more personality to it to me. The rest of the songs all could have been the same song as far as I'm concerned. This one felt different. It felt unique. It felt like something that thought was put into and care was given to. Um, it was a really nice closer for the album. And yeah, it just had, had a mood I could jive with. And there was just something about it that I was digging and it's probably because it just felt fresh after listening to 10 tracks that all kind of had the exact same vibe. I mean, you know, one thing that's really cool about that song is that it has acoustic guitar in it, which is nowhere present on the rest of the album. So that makes it even more unique from that alone. The vibe that it has is just very kind of out there, a lot more chill and relaxed, you know. It's, it's really cool. That was one of my, my highest rated track is a tie between three and they are coincidentally the three that you just mentioned. Wow. <laughs> now, not to say I did not like this album. I generally, not bad. I didn't love it, however. I, I, it did not live up to the hype that I had for it for like over a year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I still generally like some stuff about it. Those three songs I did like. Terminator Oscillator had the raw pumping energy the first two records had, I think. Same with all, all these years, it felt fresh, it really kind of had a driving force to it. And Dead Soul, as you pretty much said, everything I wanted to say about it already. Mm. That being said, other songs I liked include Hollow, which I don't know if I like it as much as I did when it came out, but it, you know, it's not bad, it's not amazing, but it's pretty good, especially compared uh, to some of the other tracks. Something of my own, I like that track a lot, but I don't love it. That track, the chorus on that track gave me corn vibes, but it was like, it was like discount corn. I guess I when can you listen to it when that. you listen to it again, 
I'll think about that. that. Yeah, think about that with that in mind. And See, the thing with that see. track is I remember, you know, back when they first announced this album and they showed a few teasers, I was literally listening to those teasers nonstop. And the chorus of that song was in there and I was hooked immediately. So when this song came out, I'm like, oh, this one's got a sick chorus. And it did. And I'm like, yeah, I like the chorus. But the verses were kind of putting me off a little bit. I wasn't super huge on the verses. That's another thing about this album. And it's kind of forgivable in a way, but a lot of the choruses and verses, like we were talking about, didn't really match up that well. Mm -hmm. And they felt like they were kind of like, almost like different songs that were mashed together. And maybe they were, because Wayne doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> so this is all old, old, old pre-recorded stuff that they've gathered around from their vaults and stuff like that and made new songs out of. So it was probably quite a task for them to do that. So it's kind of forgivable that some songs sound like that. Like, um, Worth Dying For track number three sounds like a carbon copy of Bled For Days. Yeah. Um, except for the chorus, which is really bad. It seems completely out of place, doesn't fit the song. It almost sounds like they took a chorus from another song that he wrote, took this song, which has the same um, melodic rhythm that his Bled For Days, and then just went, okay, we'll put these two together and we'll call that a song. The only thing though is that, you know, that whole idea is just an assumption. We can't know yeah. for sure that that's what happened. Maybe that's just what the track was like and Wayne didn't use it because maybe he just wasn't happy with it and perhaps can kind of see why, but we don't know. Like that, you know, that would make sense that they did that because this album is built upon a bunch of recordings they found that Wayne, you know, never used for whatever reason from yeah. different eras of the band's, you know, life. But uh, yeah, that one I was not too fond of either. Like, no. we, if we put it on, we're both singing Bled for Days over it. Like, yeah. it's just the same <laughs> song, but not as good. What did you think of uh, At Seagull Placebo? That one tied worth dying for for my lowest rated track. For your lowest rated? It was such that was a... One, that was like, other than the three I named earlier, that was my next highest rated song. It just felt like there was not much coherency with that track. It kind of felt like it was all over the place. And that track, I think, is a good example of how they kind of went a little bit overboard with the electronic stuff. I, I feel like there's like just a little bit much in there. Like, okay, guys, you can chill a little bit, you know? I thought the 16th note hi-hats was a nice touch. It added a nice, um, a nice element of energy that wasn't really prevalent on other tracks. I thought that was a nice touch. They did have the sample from the Running Man movie. Um, you guys ever seen the Running Man? You're bright, you'll get it. But the downfall with it is that they used the same sample in the one song five times. I mean, is they overkill. did something like that with I'm With Stupid, which by the way, they used that same sample in the beginning yeah, track called right. Regeneration. Yeah, I, well, I think that was deliberate kind of uh, like- Yeah, as a probably, nod to if the- If you paid more attention to it, you'll probably hear a sample from each album kind of thing. Probably, like, yeah. you know, it, I'm not knocking it for that, but it's like they did use that exact sample in Regeneration, which yeah. is fine. I mean, you know, it's to probably celebrate the life of Wayne and everything he brought for this band. Exactly, but a, a, a movie like Running Man, for example, like that movie is loaded with quotes. Loaded with quotes that they could have used. It would have been much better, in my opinion, if they had used several different sample quotes from the movie and made kind of almost like a storyboard out of it rather than the same quote five times. I mean, they kind of did do that with I'm With Stupid as well. Like they didn't use the one and only, they used a few, but used yeah. a bunch. Yeah. Anyway guys, that's all we got for you today for Project Regeneration Volume 1. And uh, tell us what you think in the comments below. We love hearing your guys' thoughts and opinions on the albums we'd like to check out. Do you guys like it? Did it live up to the long expectations that have been building up? Because it's been announced for a while yeah. and now it's out. So that's all we got for you today. Remember to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. I'm TV Fish. I don't buy myself. And rest in peace, Wayne Static.